morning, whatever I was like. Thank you. 
wife and children, and all the members of the American clergy, including the function of the Indian American and our pastor of the Daily Alta, his wife, who we try to go beyond the text. And today, we can all join us and we We pray for all the blessed times for connection to our Hulake and Jesus Christ. We pray for the third blessing that will be given to our hard working members that will be here in Jesus and we can be part of the world. We pray for the church of Christ that we bring in more and more people of love prepared for us to have you there. We pray that they will always be even be better than us. They can even look more you know, better than us and bring, bring in more people, more than us. We pray all of us in all our names and in our names to that. Christ, give us a lot of blessings on our family, our youth, our youth. Good morning. We're now on the fifth message of peace on page 71. Tungal Guk is the ideal kingdom of eternal peace. The speech Reverend Dr. Sun Young Moon delivered on the occasion of the entrance ceremony of Chunjung Peace Palace and the coronation of the King of Peace in Heaven and on Earth on June 13, 2006, at the Peace Palace in Korea. Highest leaders of all nations in the world honored guests of heaven who had gathered from every corner of the earth to celebrate these treasured historic and providential days and the people of the spiritual and physical worlds who have who are being reborn as citizens of Chunilu. In the name of all humanity in the spirit world and physical world, numbering more than 300 billion souls. I offer boundless gratitude and glory to God, the creator of all things, the eternal true parent of humankind and great king of heaven and earth. I ask you to raise your voices high in praise for the victory of the true parents of heaven and earth. The king and queen of peace in heaven and on earth. They have personally completed the entire course of restoration through indemnity in order to save humankind, who, as descendants of the fall, would otherwise be eternally destined to wander in evil and suffering, ever sliding down the path to hell. You stand today in the venue of the tremendous event in the history of God's providence. This event is unprecedented and will never be repeated. It is a day when the King of Peace finally ascends in glory. And we're now on page 72. Please recognize that Although they may not be visible to you, thousands and tens of thousands of good ancestors of blessed families have come here. They are above you, your head. Now, join me with you in celebration with this awesome moment. All nature is rejoicing and heaven and earth resound with choruses of Hallelujah! If you truly understood 
the infinite value of this day, you would not be able to sit still. You would go throughout the world singing hymns of joy and dancing in ecstasy. The coronation ceremony for the kingship of God. Do you know the significance of January 13, 2001? It was the day of the coronation ceremony of God's kingship. For countless years of heaven had been waiting for that event in eager anticipation. It was the greatest and most exalted celebration humanity had ever witnessed. On that day, Reverend Moon, who had received the anointing as the true parent of all humankind, and traveled a path of indescribable suffering and pain until he gained the final victory, offered his entire foundation to heaven. For tens of thousands of years, God has endured an existence full of lamentation and grief even as he con conducted his providence with a parental heart. When that coronation ceremony was offered to him, it marked the moment of his long-awaited liberation and inner freedom. In that providential day, we described to all heaven and earth that we would attend God as the vertical true parent and great king of heaven and earth, that we would unfurl and raise high the banner of Chung Il Guk, and that the new sovereignty of heaven had begun. For the next three years, we, the true parents, held firmly to the helm while the winds of heavenly fortune surged around us like a typhoon. We dash forward as though each day were worth a thousand years. Then on the foundation of True Parents Victory, we declared May 5, 2004, the day of Sang Hab Shib Chung. On that day, the True Parents brought to a close the era before the coming of heaven with its long years of grief and opened the era after the coming of heaven. The new age when we can build a new heaven and new earth. This marked the beginning of a great and historic revolution to return the earth to God as a substantial reality. And we are now on page 73. Beloved citizens of Chung Il Guk, today you are receiving amazing grace. You are participating in the coronation ceremony of the substantial King of Peace in heaven and on earth. And you are being registered as citizens of Chun Il Guk. Not only you, but also your ancestors by the tens of thousands will thank you throughout eternity for the grace they are receiving along with you today. The Bible says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Today, you are witnessing the miracle of miracles, the establishment of Chung Il Guk, the substantial sovereignty in the era after the coming of heaven. And we're now on page 74. God truly works in mysterious ways. For the first day of the new millennium, God had already laid out the land for Chung Il Guk. Who could have imagined, though, that they would see the day when the King of Peace in heaven and on earth would ascend to his throne. You thought it was just a dream, but you are witnessing it in your lifetime. And we have a 
subtopic, the part of the people of Tumil book. Yeah. We have Reverend Ezra here. <coughs> it's on page <coughs> 74, and we're now on the fifth message of peace on the Messages of Peace book. Path of the people of Chinilbu, citizens of the kingdom of heaven, this is a precious and blessed day of victory and glory. Now, as the king of peace in heaven and on earth, I will declare on this 13th day of June, in the sixth year of Chinilbu, the fundamental duties and mission that every citizen of Chinilbu should understand and live by as they walk the way of heaven. First, as God is the vertical true parents and you are true children of God, you will establish the realm of three generations in your family, perfect the four perfect the four great realms of heart and attend God on the vertical on the vertical axis for eternity. Father, you will inscribe in your heart the need to uphold the King of Peace in heaven and on earth, who is the horizontal true parent, and to live with absolute obedience in the horizontal axis for eternity as a citizen of Chinilco. You will make living for the sake of others, which is the practice of true love, the standard of your life. You will establish a true family and raise true children who are sinless and pure thus protecting God's lineage and bequeathing it intact from generation to generation. Second, no matter what the situation, you will live with your mind and body united as one. In my case, as well, from the day I first determined to follow heaven's path, I resolved to keep this as my motto before you desire to have dominion over the universe you must first gain dominion over yourself turning to page 75 god has turning god has given you a con a conscience as your guide in accomplishing these objectives your conscience your conscience knows everything about you it has complete knowledge of every action and step you take. It even knows your thoughts. Your, con your conscience knows all these things about you before your teacher or pastor knows. It knows them before your parents know. It knows them even better than God knows. So, if you place your conscience in God's position over your life and go the way of absolute obedience of the high noon settlement whereby your life casts no shadows. It is certain that you will establish a realm of resonance between your mind and body and perfect their harmonious unity. Subtopic World peace through cross-cultural marriage. Citizens of Chinilgu, the unification of spirit world has been completed. The issue now is the 6.5 billion people living on the earth in the physical body. They struggle in agony in the midst of sin and suffering. Yet they are your brothers and sisters. The third mission is to educate them 
and bring them home as people of Tinubu. You should educate everyone to understand that all human beings without exception are descended from the fall and must change their blood lineage through receiving the holy marriage blessing from true parents. You must continue to work the work of engrafting people into the true olive tree by having them participate in the grace of intercultural marriage until the day they all, when all mankind numbering more than 300 billion souls is restored to God's lineage. Wow. Fourth, you are created to spend nine months in the womb, perhaps 100 years on earth breathing air, and then all eternity in the spirit world. You should understand that just as proper preparation in the womb is required for a healthy life after birth, you must devote your earthly life for preparing yourself for the next stage of life in the spirit world. Never forget that in every time and place and no matter how you and no matter what you are doing, your ancestors in the spirit world are with you. Be ever mindful to live in harmony with the spirit world. Communicate in prayer with the heaven, with the heavenly world, with sincerity and dedication, so that you may become perfected in your spirit. You may be uh, perfected in your spirit self while you are living on earth. Fifth, your talent and abilities are required for the, uh, for the management and governance of Chinelibu. Now, therefore, cut away and cast off your mask of selfish individualism. It is but a remnant of the era before the coming of heaven, in order to belong to heaven, you must change ownership by participating in the ceremony of returning ownership, offering everything you own to God, and then receiving it back from God. In addition, all citizens of Chinilku will provide funds for the well-being and peace of humanity, not by taxation, but by voluntary contribution, they will demonstrate the model of offering the first three tenths of their income for public purposes. This cannot be an imposed tax. It has to be a gift that citizens offer willingly to heaven with joyful hearts. We have another subtopic, the lifestyle of the citizens of Chinilgu. Sixth, beloved citizens of Chinilgu, in the era after the coming of heaven, it is possible to recover the ideal world of creation that was lost as a result of the fall. God created everything in the universe as our natural environment. These are absolutely needed for human prosperity. Human beings and nature are meant to share a realm of mutual resonance with humans as the subject partners of love and nature as the object partner living a uh, thriving under human management and beautified by human creativity. 
we can no longer tolerate actions that destroy nature and pollute the environment. As citizens of Chinilgo, please have the wisdom to protect and love nature. Return the nature, return to nature and enjoy a life of liberation and complete inner freedom. To love nature is to love God and humanity. When human life resonates, resonates with nature, human character can blossom in perfection. We are now on page 77. The flowers of a true culture of heart, a true artistic world, will bloom. It will be the Garden of Eden, the original ideal where God, human beings, and all creation live in complete harmony and express their original nature. If you practice such true love in your daily life, how can God do anything but bestow great blessings upon you? You will live for all eternity in blessings and happiness. Seven, the era after the coming of heaven that God and true parents have opened is a time of dramatic change. As registered citizens of Chinilgu, you have the mission to make this era blossom and bear fruit in blessing and glory. Therefore, please become heaven's emissaries, fulfilling the dual mission of the Peace Kingdom Police Force and Peace Kingdom Corps. Serve humanity under the banner of the Universal Peace Federation. Turning to page 78, which is working to establish the position of the Abel type United Nations. Worthy countrymen and women, if not you, then who? Will nature, will nature and protect the blessed families and this blessed planet Earth that God has given us? Please become the true princess and princesses who live in attendance to God as your vertical true parents. For he is the peace king of the multitudes. Let us build the everlasting peace kingdom by attending the king of peace in heaven and on earth and fulfill the way of true of a true devoted child, a patriot, a saint, and a member of the family of God's sons and daughters. Beloved people of Chinilgu, I hope you truly will celebrate and enjoy this precious and holy day. Brush off all your cares and worries and celebrate this day in joy while attending your Heavenly Father and true parent with all your heart. The sincerity and dedication expressed by each of you brings even more glory to this day. The beautiful mountains, streams, trees and flowers here in the vicinity of Champion Lake are showering their blessings upon you as you prepare to embark on your ambitious journey. Your descendants too will take pride that you participated in this long awaited day and they will honor and praise you forever. I pray that the abundant grace and blessings of God in heaven may be upon you and your family. Thank you. It's already now 5.31. Um, is there anyone willing to share on what we read this morning? We were reading the fifth message of peace. Chinil Guk is the ideal heavenly kingdom of eternal peace. The speech Reverend Dr. Sang Moon delivered on the occasion of entrance 
ceremony to Chen Jun Peace Palace and the coronation of the King of Peace in heaven and on earth on June 13, the year 2006, at the Peace Palace in Korea. <coughs> uh, I clearly note the seven uh, missions uh, given to all citizens of uh, Chinilubu. And uh, I think one of the, uh, none of those seven, I think we should uh, take time to look at each one of them. Maybe it takes seven days to look at each one of them, maybe one hour, uh, talking with, uh, you know, reflecting about what each one of them means, and we can make strategies about doing that, uh, what it says. Uh, because one of them is to become, a, uh, to attend God as, uh, as a, uh, people who have started uh, the new uh, attending God. And uh, uh, Dr. Uh, Don Munjo sat with us after uh, the the event yesterday and was telling us how um, Father, through Father we, we are saying, oh, you know, true Father is in the spiritual world. So we think, you know, always that concept is like Father and God are far away, you know, is there, in the spiritual eternal, you know. But we know how much Father loved us and Father would desire to be with us every day. So that's the nature of Father. So Father does not want to stay in spirit world far away like that in our concept. Father wants to be here with us and uh, to help us do the things he himself told us we should do. All the things true Father spoke about was to help us to work, was to help us to accomplish conditions bring, bringing us close to God, removing that big gap that existed from the time of the fall, reducing and reducing it and reducing it until God can rush to us in a second. <laughs> That's what he was saying. And True Father can come to us when we have the right mind that True Father is here, I'm uh, talking with Father and Father is here with me, that's the age, uh, you know. We have come from Christianity that always believes in Jesus who is, after we die is when we will meet Jesus. It's like Jesus is never here. So this kind of concept of distance with our uh, higher spiritual uh, leaders or centers or teachers, we always have created like a gap and a distance. But they, uh, they would really want us to come, uh, close that gap and know there is no gap. That is the absolute unity of mind and body uh, and attend with them so that we can fulfill this first uh, mission to attend uh, vertical God uh, as you are the true children of God, we should establish that with God as our father, as our parent, no distance. So that is one thing. Then number two, uh, no matter what the situation, uh, we unite our own mind and body. And that's where they are talking about our conscience as our true teacher and uh, no noon, uh, every, uh, no shadow, everything is at noon. And if we live like that kind of life, then we will be feeling completely self-fulfillment. We are living in complete unity of our mind and body. Then, like number three, 
uh, is to go to, through the cultural marriage, take responsibility for the 6.5 billion people on this earth, plus the 300 billion souls in the spiritual world, and bring unity and harmony with them, and, and resolve, uh, resolve the distances again in these uh, realms of uh, mankind here on earth. We are all divided in by culture, by religion, by nations, and true father has, in other speeches, has said, remove all these boundaries, create the United Nations, able UN. Uh, so I look at this as very pra seven practical steps that we uh, members of Chinil of Chinil Group should take. Uh, Mr. John, Don Munjo yesterday asked us, Christianity by Paul, you know, uh, Saint Paul, just told everyone, believe in Jesus and be saved. And that has become the motto of 2,000 years. People feel just close to Jesus because they say, I believe in Jesus. I believe. And I'm saved. And that is uh, how Christianity grew and completely uh, lasted and uh, uh, keep on growing, covering the whole earth uh, in 2,000 years. So what about us with the message of true father. What will be the one message that will take eternity and make complete like Christianity did? What will be our one small short message that anyone and everyone can capture and work on and last for eternity because uh, true father said he fulfilled everything but Jesus said, it is finished, but finished what he could do as a human being in three years' mission. But Father said different. He said, I fulfilled everything. This was a great revelation yesterday for me. So for three, six billion, 6.5 billion people, uh, I was thinking the same thing. If we do not study these words, seven steps we are given by True Father in this message, we cannot know and articulate a spiritual message that is sharp and uh, that will last uh, for eternity for all the six billion people and then the 300 billion souls in the spiritual world and bring all of them to God's lineage. Uh, through cross-cultural marriages. So there is all the others, the fourth and the fifth, and uh, we can work on them. I won't go through all of them now because of time, but I feel uh, this is our homework uh, to make it easy for uh, other people so that they also become members of Chinese. Yeah, thank you very much. You wanna go? Yeah. Yes, anybody else wants to share? So if there's none, it's all right and have unison prayer. Our most beloved heavenly parents were so thankful for this reading today about the fifth message of peace, we pray that we can invite you and all my friends and relatives and all my even ancestors and all the tens and thousands that was mentioned today that they are looking at us and we pray that we have surpassed that day 
for this was declared as the miracle of miracles about honoring our heavenly parents as the king and queen of peace. We pray, our heavenly parents, that we can always be your instruments always to propagate your will. We pray that we can share this, not only in social media, but through first uh, sitting close to people you have that you have prepared for us. We pray that we can even share this during the meals that we eat in our offices and in any place that we are in every day. We pray that we can Tell them about Chung Il Guk and the coronation of the King of and Queen of Peace in Chung Pyong, Korea. We pray, our Heavenly Parents, that we can really declare to our clan that we can bring them to also everlasting life through the blessing that our true parents is giving to not only us but to all the people all over the world. We pray that peace will reign on this earth, that all wars, rumors of wars would just be eliminated and there'll be a culture of peace that we can even explore the heaven. And we pray our heavenly parents that you guide us today and protect us today, all our brothers and sisters who are go going to their place of work from their abode, we pray for the protection and victory from the true family and all the blessed families and all the people all, all over the world. And we pray all of this in all our names and in my name, Athanasius Francis Ticatalan, blessed single family, our Jew, our Jew, Uri yes Good morning. 